In today's video, we're going to show you how to use Apple CarPlay on your new 2016 NEX Pioneer radio, so stay tuned. Okay, so one of the cool new features that everyone is all a buzz about is Apple CarPlay. Android has its competitor, but that's not this video, so we're not even going to mention it. Apple CarPlay is the ability to plug your iPhone into your radio and push over things like music, phone, navigation, contacts, text messaging, Spotify, Pandora, all that cool music stuff into the radio and give you Siri eyes free so that you can talk to your radio and have her do all kinds of neat stuff for you. It's really cool if you have an iPhone. So why don't we give you a demo? Let's get to it. All right, so here's Apple CarPlay, and here are the basic features that it gets when you first plug in your phone. Now, if you'll notice down here, we have four other circles that are highlighted. If we swipe, we could take a look at, these are some of the services that are also uh, Apple CarPlay compatible. There are a bunch of them, and there's a bunch more. But the one thing you'll notice that's unique to all of them is they're all audio related. CarPlay is not made for any form of video whatsoever. It's just for music, mu books on audio, anything auto related, no video whatsoever. This is a safe operating system made to make your life easier and safe. Let's talk about the basic icons. We have phone. Go ahead and tap phone. With whom would you like to speak? Call Fernando Lopez. So it's going to go ahead and we're just going to disconnect that call. Now, we'll back up here and we'll go to phone again How and we'll hit like show that? contacts. Now, showing contacts will just give you the ability to tap and call any person you want. If you have favorites, you can look at your recent calls, you can look at your contacts. If you come over here, tap this, you can come over here and you can see, there you go, cues. You can do a keypad, so if you just someone's reading you a number, you can check out your voicemails. Tap back. Now, music is going to work the same way. Go ahead and hit that. Hit playlists. You have iTunes Radio. Here's your playlist here. You can scroll up through those. You can click albums, artists. You can click more. We'll go back to playlists. Now, the whole idea behind this is making it easy and simple. So we'll just click play. And what you're going to see on the display is big, bold writing, big buttons for track up, track down. Very simple operating system. This is so that when you're driving down the road, you're not distracted or you can't find the buttons like track up, track down, and things like that. Now, some of you have steering wheel controls, and this will integrate with that. Now, the other thing you can do is you can just press and hold. Play something by ACDC. So there you go. You don't even have to go into the music setting if you don't want to. If you're in the main here, if you press and hold this button for three seconds, it'll go ahead and do anything you want it to do. So it shows here I have a message. Do I have any text messages? Susan Bates said, do you need anything at the store? Would you like to reply? Yes. What do you want to say to Susan? No, thank you. You're replying. No, thank you. Ready to send it? Send it. I'll send your message. Now, if you notice, there was words on the screen. Those are buttons. If you didn't want to talk to her, you could just hit you could just hit send, and she'll go ahead and do it. You won't even have to talk to her. You won't have to do any of that interaction if you don't want to. Let's go back to messages for a minute. Should I send your message? Now here it's going to show you messages that you have. So if there's somebody in this list that you just want to message back, you can go ahead and tap that name and it'll ask you what you want to say. You say it and boom, you're done. This is really helpful when you're driving naturally. Now maps. Maps are real important. Everyone's cool. Everyone wants to know all about maps. Go ahead and click back. Here's your map. 
this is you this is you're doing it uh, you can change it to a 3d view if you want if you notice on the screen here you can see all these this is your traffic telling you, you got crummy traffic you can tap to zoom in so there's congestion over here you can move around zoom back click done click that arrow there and it'll take you back home but that's cool but you want to go somewhere so you click destination now if you click the spyglass icon over here where would you like to go five guys burgers and fries one possibility i see is five guys on us highway 19 north let me know if you want to hear the whole list so if you want to go here, you just tap it, and it'll automatically take you to that destination. Now the other nice thing this year, new for uh, CarPlay, are these guys right here. These are fast keys. So you can find gas, parking, restaurants, coffee shops, as well as shopping, just by tapping one of these icons here, and it'll automatically take you, or give you a list of the closest ones to your proximity. So this is showing me here, I have a racetrack close by, a BP, a 7-Eleven, a Texaco, I can tap it and it'll automatically take me there. It's telling me it's five minutes away, I'm good to go. So this icon here is going to show you uh, con places you've been to in your phone. Maybe something you've looked up on the internet, someplace you've been previously, um, anything that you've done in maps, it could be something in an email, an appointment, anything where there's an address, it's gonna show up in this right underneath this icon here. So, what is now playing? Now playing is going to take you back to your music. It's just going to—it's a fast button just to show you what's going on there. This is to get you back to your NEX. Tap here; it'll get you back to CarPlay. Podcasts, pretty self-explanatory, and audio books. You go. You got that. Now, what other things can you do with her? Naturally, when you hold this button for three seconds, you can pretty much do anything you want. So, we'll press and hold. When does the lightning play again? What is in a taco? The main ingredients in taco are tortilla, meat, vegetable, and cheese. So she does other things too, other than just these buttons. But the nice thing is, these buttons are just there for your convenience. You don't actually need to press any of these. You can just press and hold and ask her to do anything. Play music, go somewhere, send someone a message. You get the idea. So as you can see, Apple CarPlay is a really cool feature. It yeah. makes takes using your radio to a whole nother level. Hands-free is what it's all about and ease of use. If you have steering wheel controls, you can take it to a whole nother level. Most steering wheel control interfaces give you the ability to mimic the function of this button. So if you have a voice button or any other button, like if you're using one of the pack interfaces, you can program it for any button, a volume up, a track up, it doesn't matter. You press and hold that button for three seconds, It'll automatically launch the Siri for you. So that's really cool. So you don't even have to hold the screen if you don't want to. When the phone rings, it gives you the cool little green and red icons that you're used to on your phone. And then when you get a text message, across the top of the screen, a gray bar appears. If you tap that gray bar, it'll automatically launch messaging and read the message back for you and go through the whole thing where you do the text message. You saw that earlier, so I don't need to repeat all that. But that's that. That's CarPlay. It's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. More and more apps are coming on board every day as far as the music things go. This is still a first generation product even though it's over a year old at this point. And magically there's going to be a gray bar. Look at that. Let's tap it. Okay, almost done. Want to reply? Yes. What do you want to say to Susan? We're just wrapping up our CarPlay video. I'll see you shortly. You're replying. We are just wrapping up our CarPlay video. I'll see you shortly. Ready to send it? Send it.
there you go. So hey, who knew? <laughs> How convenient. Yeah. All right, let's wrap it up before I get another text message. All right, so thank you for watching. You guys can find us on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And as usual, if you like this video, please subscribe. If you have questions, leave them down below in the comments, and we'll get back to you. Otherwise, you guys have a great night, and we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye.